everybody, welcome back. And this video is gonna be a little bit different. Um, I'm going to kind of do a little bit of an unboxing, and also I'm going to show me doing what is in the unboxing, because it does have a connection to do with furry friends. Um, but first, So today I am going to show myself doing the uh, diamond painting of a golden retriever. Um, and then the links will be in the, in the description, but I had to open this one as soon as I got it because I really wanted to look at it, but I haven't opened the actual packaging yet. And then I got another thing kind of to go with the diamond painting. I haven't looked at it yet, I'm just opening it now. And it is the some accessories for the diamond painting. So I have done one of these before. Um, I'll insert a picture right now of what it looked like. And I really enjoyed it. But you do it one by one with a little um, stylus. And I saw that they make other styluses that pick up multiple. So that will be interesting to try. So a lot of times you'll either have extra diamonds left over and you don't want to throw them. So I put everything into the case and everything fits in the case that came with the accessories. And there is even a little bit of room left to add more. Oh, and there is one more thing. Um, it is a pair of tweezers. So if you misplace a diamond, you use it to pick it up. And it's like a little tiny tweezer, so it only picks up one diamond at a time, which is good if you don't want to pick up multiple. So now I am actually opening the diamond painting itself. And isn't the crinkling sound wonderful? Um... So, first there's a little tray and the wax and stylus and everything. And um, the actual diamonds or little rhinestones that you stick on. And then there is the diamond right there, of course. It is of a golden retriever that's full grown. And so, hopefully, Amber will eventually look like that when she's full grown. This is what the full picture looks like. And now I'm just starting by opening up the diamonds and I'm just starting with the first color, which happens to be A. Um, the beads are labeled with numbers and letters and the corresponding letter or mark on the actual diamond is where you put it. And if you're new to diamond paintings, they have a adhesive on it. That's why you leave the plastic on until you're going to use that place where the plastic was covering otherwise it could dry up and if you've never done a diamond painting before you use the wax and you stick the stylus in so there's a little bit of wax on the tip and then you just stick it on top of the rounded part of the rhinestones like right now I'm just doing the shadows sort of of the dog's fur.
And then now I'm starting the green that is part of the background color. And I did this in multiple days so far. Um, up at the end of the, the video, you'll see that I have like five or six hours into it, even though it's like only a little bit. And then off camera, I just went in and did all of the background um, and a tiny bit on the actual details of the dog and then going back in to the fur with like the shadows and stuff. And then eventually I finally got to start on the face of the dog, which is um, good and so yeah. <laughs> um, and this video... <laughs> The diamond painting takes a really long time and this video is already over 12 minutes so I am going to have to do a part two because we are moving and it's kind of hard to do the diamond painting like in between houses um, and record it so I am just gonna do it when we after we're done moving and then you'll see part two.
And if you're wondering how many diamonds are will be put on the thing in total, there is almost 11,000 diamonds. So that's a lot of diamonds to place. And I've only got less than half of them done so far. So come back for part two and thank you for watching. Bye.